Shaltapar Kirmani, Dean, Medical Faculty Skills. For Dean's address, please. Respected Madam, Nagoba Mufti Ji, Chief Minister, Jammu and Kashmir, and Governing Body Chairman, Respected Mr. Bali Bhagat Ji, Honorable Minister for State and Medical Education, Respected Ms. Asya Nakaji, Minister of State for Health and Medical Education, Dr. Swami Swaminathan, Director ICMR, Dr. Sandeep Gleria, Director Ames, New Delhi, Director Skins, Professor A.G. Anger, and Ex-Official Secretary to Government of Jammu and Kashmir, Respected <coughs> Dignitaries, Colleagues, Delegates, Friends, Assalamu Alaikum. At the outset, I would like to congratulate the organizers of the conference for organizing the marathon academic event, which will be held at this venue for the next four days. The twin conference, second JK Medical Science Congress 2017, and first annual conference of polycystic ovarian syndrome society will provide a platform for medicos and young scientists to exchange their views and ideas about the health problems. The organizers of the conference have ensured to address to every single issue, maybe it polycystic ovarian syndrome or diabetes, may it be brain trauma or brain tumors, may it be medical and surgical cardiac diseases to liver diseases and liver transplant. They have even touched the depressed, depressive psychiatric diseases and different dermatological issues. You will appreciate that the topics like health risk associated with mobile phone, phone use, one. Two, formulation and in vitro evaluation of sun protection factor in herbal creams. Scientific validation for hepatoprotective protect, potential of Sharbati DNR against experimental induced liver toxicity. Even these topics have been touched. This is the real essence of the Congress. I wish them a grand success. I hope the delegates and national and international faculty who have come all the way to this beautiful valley will enjoy this academic feast and the hospitality of the organizers uh, here in Srinagar. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Altar Saab. Now I call upon Dr. Skims, Professor A.G. Hanger, for his address, please. Ma'am, Mahbuba Bhaktiji, Honorable Chief Minister of JNK State, Chairperson of Governing Body, Shri Krishna Medical Sciences, Srinagar, Shri Bali Bhagaji, Honorable Minister for Health and Medical Education, Government of JNK, Ms. Asya Nakash, Honorable Minister of State for Housing, Urban Development, Social Welfare, Health and Medical Education, Dr. Somia Sominathan, Director General, ICMR, 
Dr. Randeep Guleria, Director of the Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. Professor Taf Kirmani, Dean, Faculty of Medicine, Sher Kishpun Institute of Medical Sciences. Dr. M. Ashraf Ghanai, Convener of the Organizing Committee of this Second Science Congress. Honorable Members of the State Legislature, Honorable Minister, Jinnab Bashar Bukhari Sahib, Distinguished Vice Chancellors of various universities, <coughs> principal of, Principals of various medical colleges, Directors of various state institutions, Distinguished Officers of the State Administration, Professors and Heads of Departments of various medical institutions, and Sheikh Institute of Medical Sciences, Distinguished scholars, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening. It's a moment of pride for me to be the patron of this organizing committee for the second JNK Science Congress, which is clubbed with the first annual conference of MPPCO Society here at ISKICC Srinagar. It's both satisfying that the fact the Sheri Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences got this honor and the Department of Science and Technology and all other associated health institutions across the state came to the forefront to help us to conduct this program. I feel indebted to all those institutions of the state as well as Director of Health Services and all other medical colleges who are participating, not by virtue of their presence in this Congress as of, as of now in the inaugural function, but by, because of the talent and the scholars who are participating in the presentation programs to various research papers. It's a great reckoning that we are taking this collaborative scientific platform to the greater heights. The theme of this second JNK Science Congress has been rightly chosen about the non-communicable diseases in the developing nations. We all know how metabolic syndromes, cancer, diabetes, and many other such ailments are taking a heavy toll. Strokes and cardiovascular infarctions take about 28 million lives a year all over the globe. About 17.5 million people die because of all other metabolic syndromes that includes diabetes and even respiratory illnesses and cancer. Research is one of the fundamental tools that can find the key to these problems all over the world. And we are proud to have Shane Kashmir Institute of Medical Sciences, the lone tertiary care center in the forefront of the research. Where from annually, not only postgraduate and postdoctoral students have an annual program presentation which we just concluded two days back, but go in the various national and international fora with their research papers and get all the praises and awards from all the Played for at global level even. We understand that the institutions and the universities, especially the medical universities, who are part of the innovative chain, they are the ones who transform our lives by finding the answers to the most difficult and pathetic problems. In this regard, I have been always dreaming of a medical university in the state of JNK that would, that would not only lay down the standards for the quality care of the highest research, but would 
in fact offer standard operating procedures, guidelines, protocols, and interdisciplinary approach, and give a proper direction to the medical education, not only in the state, but would be a role model for the rest of the country to follow. We are trying our level best to reach the peripheries through our outreach, outreach camps so that we deliver our first hand treatment to the people at doorstep. That goes with the philosophy of the government, with the healing touch philosophy. It would have the scope and the potential for generating the opportunities for uneducated youth, not only for getting involved in the social welfare programs, but generating even employment for them. As on date, we have been trying to expand the structure and the Shadikishman Institute of Medical Science, not in terms of the infrastructure and manpower only, but advanced technologies, be it cardiac interventions, be it brain tumors, be it metabolic interventions, be it bone marrow transplant. We are heading at a proper pace and we are not lacking anything unturned to see to it that we deliver the best. I hope